What's going on, my perfect people? What's going on with you, family? Listen, look, if for those of you who are new to my face, I am Zavi D. Morgan. I'm a holistic life and business coach and business owner, okay? Um, what I do is I help children and adults break toxic chains, whether that's mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. I help you break those toxic chains and cycles, right? Overcome your challenges so you can see clearly in what it would take to be successful in your life, right? And we create we create a plan of action for both to break those chains and to build success and wealth in your life, okay? But first, you got to understand that it's not going to happen overnight. You have to be in a position to invest in yourself, whether that it, it, it and that's time and money, okay? Um, but you know, wealth also starts from the inside of you. So that's what I am purpose to do. Um, God has created me to do that, not just show you how to make some money. No, I show you how to be rich in your spirit first, right? And so, if you are interested in having a conversation with me um, to talk about, you know, identifying your purpose, creating a plan so you can live your life doing the things that you love to do, but most importantly, what created to do. Make sure that you, A, hit that notification bell, subscribe to this channel, and B, hit me up in my link. Hit me up at the link in the bio section so you can schedule a quickie call with me, okay? Quickie calls are free. That is where we break the ice to see if we will be a good fit for one another. You may be able to get a few, you know, little golden nuggets if you do schedule that meeting with me. It is absolutely free. You can find out more about that service in the link in my bio section, okay? Or the, the, the description box down below. But I was called to come here and make this video, okay? Listen, I know that you're you're not seeing my face as often. That's because God got me in the, in the, you know what I mean? In the room. In the room. I'm preparing for the next season. Well, the season after next, honestly. You know what I mean? Um, And so, it, it's a lot of things going on. That's for another video. What I'm here this morning for is because the past couple of weeks, God is amazing. So, here in Virginia, I'm from Richmond, Virginia, and I recently moved from Richmond. Um, and what I'm noticing is that the weather is crazy all over Virginia. In Richmond, we like, well, that's Richmond, Virginia for you. You know, the weather go from cool to hot, the raining, the snowing. It can, it can literally do that. It can literally do that in a week's time frame. I'm not lying. Okay, be like that sometimes. So, however... Um, over the past couple of weeks, I have been stewarding over the weather, okay? I don't have a TV in my room. Um, you know, I don't really watch TV like that. Um, however, I have been looking at the weather often because I need to know what's going on. You know, my baby girl, she don't really like wearing coats and stuff. So I, I, I want to dress her appropriately still when she's going out here. So it's been a mixture of, oh my God, it's almost summertime to, ooh, chill out here. It's cold, you know? And so... I've been like, God, Lord have mercy. So this not just Richmond. This is all over. Okay, this is Virginia for you, baby. Okay? Um, and so something in particular happened this morning, though. So I am just monitoring the weather um, for today. And I see that, you know, it's supposed to be like up in the 70s. And it's supposed to, um, you know, be a little sunny. And it was not supposed to rain until like tomorrow evening or a Saturday morning, something like that. Also, it's June 1st. Okay, the, <laughs> birthday month. <laughs> birthday coming up soon. <laughs> Let's stay focused. Okay, so I'm like, all right, God, cool. So I dressed the baby ap appropriately and I glanced out the window and I'm like, let me check the weather again. So I checked the weather again. It still says the same thing, okay? It, it's, it's a little cloudy right now, but okay, right, okay, cool. So we get ready to leave. We're leaving at the house, and I see mist coming down. You know, now all the time can you peep the mist or light rain from inside the house. You got to go outside and be like, hold on. So, so I'm outside getting the car, and I check the weather again. It says nothing about rain, people. Do you understand me? Nothing, nothing about no light rain, no misty showers, no nothing like that. It don't say, you know, you can, um, on the weather app, sometimes you can go, to, uh, you can see the next few hours. It's nothing. It's no rain, no showers, even all day. Do you understand me? It just says cloudy. So I'm like, God, what is going on? Listen, people be trying to predict the weather. I say, I used to say this all the time. You know, they say that people can control the weather out here in these streets, okay? 
regardless of what people think they can do god can always do more do better do greater do you understand what i'm saying and god be fooling these people time and time again this morning i'm fooled so i'm like lord what is going on so the baby get on the bus and i'm off and on my way and i just felt so incomplete so initially i um originally i had on like this tan um long john shirt type of thing I was like, oh, let me go back to the house. I felt like I was, I needed to get something or add something to me. I switched my shirt, put on my big yellow sweater, right? So I can feel comfortable. This is like a comfortable type of day. On my way back to the house, I'm like, God, you are amazing. People can't even keep up with you. God said, listen, I'm about to blow your mind in this season. You think that you can calculate my steps. You think that you know what's going on. Glory be to God, this is a word for somebody. You think that you got it all planned out. But baby, listen, I am about to blow your mind. It is some things that I'm about to do in your life that you are not expecting. You had not planned for. You couldn't even plan for them if your life depended on it. God said he is about to blow our mind, family. Do you understand me? And this is what it looked like. The weather, you may plan for one thing. The weather man planned for one thing. But I'm going to turn it around and you ain't going to see it coming, baby. You got to be prepared for that. So you got to walk. Walk like you expected me to blow your mind. Talk like you expected me to blow your mind in the name of Jesus. Do you understand what I'm saying? God is saying we are not prepared. We as have not seen and is have not heard. Do you understand me? The blessings that are getting ready to manifest in life for you. God said, don't you even try to think about it. Don't you even try to create it. Don't you even try to jot it down. You cannot create this. You do not know what's about to happen. All I need you to do, thus says the Lord, is to walk in faith. It's to be a faithful steward of what you have. It's to move in the way that I call you to move. Stay true and strong to your intuition. Listen to the things that I'm telling you to do in this season. Because before you know it, I'm about to, I'm about to now blow your mind, thus says the Lord. Do you understand me? Glory be to God. Listen, the app says nothing about it. It's, it's about to rain. It doesn't. And I can say that it has been very accurate. Even in the past couple of weeks where the weather be switching up and doing all that crazy stuff, it's still would I it say so on the app. Like, it still would be like, oh, change plans. Uh, it's going to rain in, in about an hour. You know what I mean? Like, and, 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 and so, but today had, it was different. And God ministered that thing to me, baby. Listen, and I'm giving it to you. Okay? You know, when I come here, I come here with a word. I come here with a word. I don't come here for no reason. I don't. I don't like wasting my time. Don't really like small talk. When we talking, we gonna go deep, baby. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, just do what it is you got to do, Father. Help us to be responsible stewards over what we have and create the space that we need to receive the blessings that you have for us, Lord God. Oh Jesus, thank you, Lord, in advance for the things that we don't even know you are preparing for. You have prepared for us, Lord God. Give us what we need to steward over these blessings that we are about to receive appropriately, Father God. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Listen. So look, y'all. <laughs> ah, don't you let nobody tell you you can't when God has already told you that you can. Period. Make sure, make sure that you identify your purpose, strengthen your passion so you can live life every single day doing what it is you love to do, but most importantly, what created to do, y'all. And listen, listen, hit that notification bell and subscribe to this channel so you can help me help God help this channel grow, okay? Shout out to my new subscribers! I love y'all, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.